why is childbirth painful and dangerous? Walking upright, big heads, farming revolution? Question mark. How will it evolve considering diets? Best regards from Finland. You would love it here. Consider visiting one day. So there's sort of three hypotheses, uh, three possibilities proposed here. Walking upright, big heads, farming revolution. I don't think agricultural revolution has anything, you know, made things worse with regard to childbirth. Um, with the possible caveat that um, if women are less active, certainly not being not being as fit makes childbirth more dangerous. But the first two things here, the becoming bipedal, um, you know, that, that move from being quadrupedal to bipedal and changing hip shape in order to become stable, um, and not, and not, and women not having such wide hips that they become unstable, um, in combination with the uh, large heads as a result of our big brains, which is a big part of what makes humans human. Um, that combination is, is the thing that is usually described as, um, why childbirth in humans is so much different and harder and more dangerous than it is for everyone else really. So I'm surprised to hear you say you don't think uh, the agricultural revolution or at least the um, abundance of food has made things worse because it seems to you me think that babies are bigger. Yeah, I think they're going to be less scrawny. But heads aren't fatter. I've run into some fat heads in my yeah, day. And I, I know we say that, I, but it's not actually what we mean, <laughs> right? And I mean, it's it's possible that heads um, are also getting bigger, but you know, the the less scrawny babies and 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 longer babies won't make birth more difficult. It really is head diameter. Yeah, head, head diameter, know. which is why birth has been moved earlier yeah. in the developmental sequence. Incidentally, actually, Bob Trivers tweeted yesterday a new result, and I can't remember, um, maybe while you're answering something, I'll figure out. I can't remember what species it was in, um, but that found evidence um, for uh, genomic imprinting in which maternally derived genes um, cause gestation to be shorter. Um, and paternally derived genes, paternally imprinted genes, um, cause gestation to be longer. So you have, so for, for everyone, uh, rather than us having this private conversation here, um, following from David Haig's seminal work in the 1990s, um, the idea that, um, genes are able to keep track of, uh, what parent they came from and will have different incentives in terms of things like fetal growth, depending on whether or not they came from the mother who, um, is, um, interested in the survival and success of her baby, but also in the survival and success of future babies, or if those genes, those alleles, um, came from the father, who in a non-monogamous species, at least, um, is unlikely to have any future kids with the, with that mother, and so has only an interest in the maximum survival and success of that individual and not in the future reproductive output of, um, of the mother. So the idea, the prediction then was that, um, that maternally imprinted genes, maternally derived genes in fetuses would push towards smaller birth weights and shorter gestation times and such, and the paternally, um, imprinted or derived genes would push towards higher birth rates and, and longer gestation times. And there's a piece of empirical research that, uh, that finds this. That's amazing. I did not catch that tweet, nor yeah. did I see that research yet. I will say you just blew right by that awesome argument in favor of monogamy. One of my favorite arguments in favor of my favorite breeding system of all time. I mean, it's, it's great. Are you just saying that because I'm sitting here? Um, I'm saying that because I found the right person. I'm sure monogamy is a pain in the ass if you end up with the wrong person, mm -hmm. but having not ended up with the wrong person, uh, I'm, I'm all in favor. Okay, so what did, what, what did I blow past? Well, no, no, you, you said it, but it was I just, just like so it. fast. And the yeah. idea, so there, yeah. it's multifaceted too, the idea is the conflict between that fraction of the genome of the fetus that comes from the father uh, the conflict between that fraction of the genome and the mother is much greater if the father is out of there and therefore has no interest or little interest in the ongoing well-being of the mother and has an interest in his offspring taking more than its share. Whereas if you have a monogamous system where the next offspring is going to be his as well, he has a much more concordant interest and the fetuses have a concordant interest because the next offspring is going to be a full sib rather than a half sib. Reduces sibling rivalry, among oh, other things. Oh, it so does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a better system. It's just better. Yeah. yeah. 